Hello, Dr. J here. I'll be presenting videos designed for newbies that are all about circuits. And to all those who wondered if there was more to circuit analysis than Ohm's Law and Kirchhoff's Law. Hopefully, these series of videos will help you make sense out of circuit analysis and is your guide in giving you a step-by-step -step approach in finding a solution. Available in this channel, you will find worked out problems that are easy to follow divided into several parts or modules. These five parts are really three courses in circuit analysis. The first course consists of three basic parts. In part one, we'll get started in circuit analysis by learning some engineering lingo and giving you a refresher on what is voltage, current, and power. In part two, you'll learn basic analytical methods using Ohm's and Kirchhoff's law. From there, we'll take complex circuits and tear them down so these methods are used to simplify circuits when analyzing them. Like superposition, by looking at one source at a time, as well as Thevenin equivalent, reducing circuits to one voltage source and one resistor, plus many more methods. In part three, you'll take a look at transistors and operational amplifiers, or op-amps, which involves learning the concept of dependent sources when looking at these devices. In part four, involves using s techniques in differential equations, which is really a second course in circuit analysis. First order circuits, which involves either one capacitor or inductor and one resistor. Second order circuits, which involves a capacitor, inductor, and resistor. Again, both types are driven by time-varying signal sources. You also study phasers as well. The third course in circuit analysis is found in part five, where you discover more advanced techniques when analyzing circuits as well as advanced applications with circuits. You will study topics such as Laplace transforms, Bode plots, and analog filters or frequency selective devices where you can use classic design techniques in designing filters to include Butterworth and Chebyshev filters. So in summary, you'll get detailed step-by-step -step instructions in these circuit analysis courses. So let's get started. In part one, you will discover what circuit analysis is all about. We'll begin with the engineering lingo, which will briefly talk about the underlying physical variables like charge and energy when you study electronic systems. Below you will see video screenshots and when you hover and then click on the screenshot, it will link and go to the appropriate video. The first two videos will talk about symbols, definitions, and units, while the third video will provide examples. You can click on one of the screenshots below to begin your journey in analyzing circuits.